there was a man born in Yelianske, uh, Orenburg. I'm, I'm trying to pronounce the names off the, off the paper here, but I'm not reading it. Uh, his name was Vasily Zaitsev. At the time of the German invasion, he was in Vladivostok and he was in the Russian Navy as a chief petty officer. And like so many of the Russian naval troops out in the far east of Russia, volunteered for the uh, straightaway volunteered for the infantry. Uh, he grew up near the Ural Mountains and his grandfather taught him and his brother how to shoot. About the age of 12 he sh shot his first wolf and he just naturally became a hunter. Uh, he was in the 13th Guards Infantry Division and when he crossed into Stalingrad he was just another soldier, just, just another bare bum in the shower. Uh, he survived the crossing of the 13th Guards, the Guards Army, crossing into Stalingrad on the river crossing which was absolutely hell. The Germans were bombing the crap out of them. Uh, there's a lot of uh, propaganda and myth around the city sites. Uh, the story of the duel with the Russian sniper. What is real, what is not, I just no idea. I mean, even even when he was interviewed himself, his, his, the propagandist would get behind it and edit it. And so. Uh, Apparently he killed between 15th of November and 1st of January, he killed something like 400 Germans. And he said himself in later on in life that uh, when you're a sniper and you look to kill someone, especially that, when you look to kill someone, you can see whether they're shaved that morning. It's not like someone's a distance and you're pressing a button or you're in an airplane bombing someone 20,000 feet below you. The duel, the very famous duel between him and uh, a German sniper, apparently because he was getting so good and he was knocking off so many and the Russian propaganda were behind him, uh, the Germans decided that the story is the Germans sent in an officer from the sniper school at Zossen. And now, there's so much mystery around it. Uh, it's, the truth has sort of been lost to time. But we'll see what he's got to say for himself. I personally believe that there was a sniper duel. I don't, like, whether it was an officer flown in particularly, I can understand that the Russian propaganda would put it there to help the war effort because there was no prizes for second place. And it was a war of extermination, so it needs to, whatever, whatever it took to win, the Russians would do it. So let's see what he's got to say for himself. 